We are in episode 206 of the Attitude Air series. It is January 17th, 2017, and this is the pay-per-view, the December pay-per-view Armageddon. Uh, the main event is Mankind and Triple H. You know, that feud's been pretty generic title feud so far. It's going to get more personal and more in depth as we go along. The uh, One other the big matches is Stone Cold was screwed by Vince last month at Survivor Series. Now he's placed in a rumble, or in a match where it's him versus Rock, and whoever wins will be in the Royal Rumble, and the loser will not. In the Fatal 4-Way Tag Match with Edge Christian, Marvelous Ones of the Hardys, and then our champs, X-Pac and Kane. And then Eddie and Chris Candida feud that's very personal. Candida beating up Eddie's brother, Hector Guerrero, multiple times. Eddie getting really pissed. He's really fired up. You know, he's you know, a family man. Very, very heated feud, and I'm expecting that to steal the show. All right, let's get it. The show starts off with Chris Jericho and Rikishi in a match with Rikishi getting the upset victory over Chris Jericho. Pretty much a basic feud with uh, Jericho getting stink-faced. Then getting angry, and you know, he's on a little bit of a decline now. And we're giving Rikishi a big push here. So he defeats Chris Jericho. Then, after that, we have Crash Holly defending his hardcore title against Bob Holly and Billy Kidman, making his fourth title defense. Still gimmick, whatever. Um, you know, just get, getting these three guys on the card and expect them to have a pretty decent push over next year. Gold Dust and Taz leaving. Here we have Brian Pillman returning, and he is announces that he will be in the Royal Rumble match, and that he will plan on to win it and face whoever will be the champion. So Brian Pillman has returned. Fall now we get Owen Hardcott and Primal and William Regal in the European Championship, saying he will become the first ever three-time European champion. He goes on to do that in a eh, all right match. You know, uh, the time was a little bit low. And uh, this will not be the last time they fight. But, you know, we're going to have the Rumble first. But, uh, yeah, expect these two to go at it again and have more time. And, you know, the 77 rating is disappointing. Con considering Regal, this is like Regal's lowest title match. Following that, we have Road Dog cut a hell of a promo on his match with Batista. I'm expecting a little bit of a dud compared to other matches. And, you know, 76, that's what I expected. But uh, the big thing here is Batista beat Road Dogg so bad the referee stopped the match. So it's a stoppage. And then afterwards, Batista just continues beating the shit out of Road Dogg. This is, excuse me, an injury angle. So Road Dogg will be out of TV for a little bit. Here in pretty damn good match, not good as the last one, Eddie Guerrero versus Chris Candida ends with Chris Candida defeating Eddie Guerrero. Uh, I believe it's by Clean. Decisive, yep, decisive. Chris Candida finally gets the win over Eddie. Maybe Eddie's too fired up over the Hector thing and made a mistake, and Chris capitalized on it. And uh, this is not the end of this feud. So, yeah, I'm hoping for this feud to continue. Maybe one, this can go all the way to WrestleMania right now. I'm having a blast with it. And then afterwards, Eddie gets pissed, and he says, you know what, I had enough, and just beats the shit out of Candida. You know, getting some comeuppance, and I think it's a good way to show how fired up Eddie is. Like, uh, I compared to JBL versus Eddie Guerrero the first time around, where, you know, that Eddie got that chair shot and was busted up, and then after, like, a double DQ, and Eddie just after the match just started beating the shit out of JBL. I'd have that happen here with Candido again. Here we have Rock versus Stone Cold, with The Rock getting the win over Stone Cold after Vince McMahon at cost Stone Cold the match again. This is also Rock's, uh, you know, just a change from a, a cocky per gimmick to a cocky face gimmick. It's whatever. He had a stale gimmick, so we had to change it. No big deal there. Same same character. But basically, uh, there's a double down. You know, maybe Vince, like, hits Stone Cold with a belt. And then the people's elbow. Just Rock doesn't know Vince helped him, but Vince helped him. Here, Vince is running away from Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then uh, Stone Cold, like, you know, starts getting rumbled, chases Vince. And Vince gets in a car and drives off before Stan Colton gets him. So we're playing in the cat and mouse game here still. Here in a uh, tag title match. <laughs> Alright, instead of saying all their names, x and Kane retain their titles. And now uh, we're going to have a gimmick change here. Where you know Edge and Christian are just switching to cocky, cocky gimmicks. They're more of this character than the weirdos that come out through the uh, crowd. And then, you know, 
expect the Hardys to change pretty soon to what they would become, like the Playboys, like, well, not Playboys, uh, Heartthrobs, more like, not the tag team. But yeah. Uh, I don't know, Kane's having still, a lot of still gimmicks in here. But really damn good match, really happy with it, with x Fog and Kane winning again. And, uh, you know, their title reign, pretty good. I've been considering breaking them up, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hold them together for probably another year. Following that, I don't know if this is going to work. Raven cuts a promo about The Undertaker. Just another Raven promo. And I really wish he gets better at it. Because if it continues like this, I'm either going to have Bring Taker back early. Or, you know, I don't know. But yeah, this these ratings need to get a little bit higher. Just a little bit. Like, I want like 87. Just so when Taker comes back, it's cool. But I'll, I'll stick with an 80. Then we get a Kurt Angle versus Val Venus. Kurt Angle defends his uh, Intercontinental Championship by defeating Val Venus by submission angle lock. This is the end of this feud. And Kurt's going to move on to someone else. And Val's going to move on to Royal Rumble. As we're pretty low in the faces uh, now with uh, Gold Dust leaving. So we need people, believable people, being in Royal Rumble. Here we have Triple H cutting promo on his upcoming match with Mankind. You know, a little bit of a dud promo, but it is what it is. And then, solid main event with Triple H defeating Mankind by pedigree. I wouldn't have a clean out of Steph in there, you know. Some way, somehow, Mankind didn't lose fair and square just to continue the feud. Now, overall, you look at it, like, this is probably one of my best pay-per-views. Yeah. Like, the first half sucked, but the last one, two, three, f four out of the last five, 90 and above ratings. Pretty solid show. No show stealer. So, I'm going to give it to Chris. Come in good performance. Eddie. And Triple H. Just because, you know, they had the three best performances. And you know, nothing else special there. Uh, wow, this is uh, quick. But I was a little disappointed with that pay-per-view. I have ideas going for it. Roller Rumble build here. I'm really excited for it. And see where I go with it. So, uh, I want something interesting pops up here. I think we're just going to call it an episode here. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a good one. Peace.